In this example, we're going to take a listen to three different motorcycle recordings and then apply some of the different methods and see if we can determine a difference in their sharpness levels. First up is this 4-inch Race Tour BCN. Then next I'll play the Quiet Tour SB and then finally the SPO Quiet B. Okay, so certainly some differences between those motorcycles. Let's see, let's take a look at the specific loudness spectra for these three motorcycles and see if we can start to separate these. So we notice the 4 inch Race Tour BCN in red certainly has the highest amount of specific loudness in the upper bark bands here, so we suspect maybe it's going to have a higher sharpness. Certainly that would match my perception. And then between the green and the blue, the Quiet Tour and the SPO Quiet, it's sort of a toss-up between who's going to be higher in terms of sharpness. They sound pretty similar, but there are some differences there as well. So this is the specific loudness spectra for each of these motorcycles. Now let's take a look at the total loudness because that's going to drive our sharpness method decision. So if I look at the total loudness, which is calculated by integrating the specific loudness spectrums we just looked at, we do see that this 4-inch Race Tour BCN is roughly twice as loud in terms of zone level as either the Quiet Tour or the SPO Quiet. Almost 40 and around 20. Certainly some subtle differences here, but this big difference in the total loudness is going to drive me to use the ORE's method of sharpness for comparison because that takes this loudness into account when calculating the sharpness values for each of these motorcycles. So let's take a look at the time varying sharpness according to ORE's. So here we see again the 4 inch race tour in red. The quiet tour is in green. It's actually this lowest guy. And then in blue is the SPO quiet sort of a little bit in the middle but uh, certainly closer to the green. Let's take another listen to each of these motorcycles looking at the time varying sharpness. And you notice this 4 inch race tour BCN, the sharpness value really comes and goes when the operator drops off the throttle you hear the sharpness values really drop and you can perceive that in the recording so in between while he's shifting gears there or something the, the sharpness really drops and if i add the spectrum map on here this spectrum map is going to update as i click through the different motorcycles and you can see the, the spectral content way out here, this in this case for the 4-inch Race Tour BCN, you see all of the spectral content out here in the higher frequency band uh, that is going to drive this sharpness value up. And then when the shifting gears happens, it drops way off. So as I click through these time-varying sharpness plots again, this spectrum will update and watch the differences in spectral content out here. And even the subtle difference between blue and green here, you'll see in, in very, very small differences out here in the high frequency region. First, the four inch race tour. So certainly even between blue and green, there is a tiny bit of difference out here. Blue is very low level, uh, but uh, green is even lower out here and certainly lower compared to the 4-inch race tour BCN. So that's the sharpness applied to some motorcycle recordings.